you know, a lot of women, you know, some of them thinking that they live in a time where they could still have men that practice chivalry, but men didn't get rid of chivalry. Actually women got rid of chivalry and now they're complaining about that. Let's review it. Okay. I have something to discuss here. I live in North Carolina. All right. And if you're, if you're from North Carolina, please watch. I've been single for almost three years. Okay, actively dating for about like a year and a half. And I say actively dating because I rarely date. It's so rare here that I find even a guy that I'm attracted to. Um, it's such slim pickings. And especially at my age, I'm almost 41. But say I find a guy that I'm even attracted to and I go out with them and like usually I don't see them past the first date. Okay, and then if I do, it still doesn't even last long enough, hence why I'm still single. And I'm, I'm figuring out the common denominator here is I am really big into opening doors and like old school love, you know, like the old school 90s R&B love. I want that. Shit. And I don't care if I'm going to be single forever and it's going to happen in my next life. So be it. But I've noticed here and I don't know if this is everywhere, but like there's just a bunch of pickles here, bunch of pickles just sitting around doing nothing, just waiting for something to happen. And I, I don't get it. Like you need to pursue, I'm sorry, but like, man, where's, where's the pursuing and the consistency? Oh, so glad you brought that up, ma'am. Well, let me, let me tell you what happened to all of that, that you're talking about a few things, the strong and independent mindset where men will open up doors for some women. They were like, I don't need you to do that. I get it myself. Okay. I was just trying to be nice or men practice any kind of chivalry and the women say, Oh, they, you, why are you being weird? I didn't ask you to do that. Well, with time men will say, okay, I don't want her thinking I'm some sort of creepo. So I'm not going to do anything like that. I don't want to be looked at as trying to harass her or bother her. I don't want her to call the cops on me. So I'm going to leave her alone. You also mentioned why men don't pursue, why men don't do this. Why men, you know, you, we've heard them before. They don't give compliments anymore. Well, there was a movement called the me too movement. And in that movement, men were losing their jobs for giving women compliments, not like touching women or anything like that. If a man gives a compliment and it's not nothing creepy or something like that, it's just a regular compliment. He was being looked at as a predator. Well, when you see enough men losing their job and men don't want to be viewed as predators when they're not, then it's going to cause them to pull back from you because they don't want to be accused of doing anything wrong. And now you're complaining that men don't want to pursue you because if men pursue you, then they're being, you know, weirdos and the next incarnation of Ted Bundy and anything else. So now you're complaining. You should not be complaining to men. You should be complaining to the women that was involved in the me too movement that fizzled out as we can clearly see because they not, they didn't like the unintended consequences of that particular movement. Listen, I'm all for, um, you know, women not being harassed. I'm all for women not being touched when they don't want to be touched. I'm all for women, um, not being treated unfairly in the workplace or, or all those things, but they took it too far. It took it way too far and men had to protect themselves. And once you got it to that point, men are now socially trained not to talk to you. Now, the reason why men prefer you to approach them, because you say, Oh, these guys are so sassy. Now they want us to approach them. Well, if you approach them, then they don't have to worry about being called a predator. If they give you compliments or they say anything to you at that point, you understand? So some men, didn't uh, adapt it. Let me say the word adapted to the new normal. That's what it was. And the ladies are not liking it. Well, you know, y'all created that, that situation. So you got to deal with it. And just because you go out with somebody once or twice does not mean you seal the cat in the bag. And I'm trying to effort goes such, such a long way. And like, I don't understand why on the first date, you know, like, even then the efforts like half ass like I, I don't i don't get it is it just this generation of men and i've tried dating younger men i've tried dating older men and it's just the same damn thing 
Well, also, you know, you, you have to also consider, ma'am, you know, you mentioned that you're, you know, about almost uh, 41. So it's going to put you in a particular demographic, um, you know, when it comes to the men as well. So you should have secured your man a long time ago. I've even told my own daughters what I'm telling you. You get married and secure your man in your 20s. You don't say, I got time. Oh, I got time. You go party and BS in your twenties. You're partying BS all the way up to you're almost 40. Now all of a sudden, yeah, I'm ready to settle down now. Like, no, that's not the way that works. You need to settle down in your twenties. Now, if you from 18 to 21, 22, okay. Hey, I guess party and BS, but after 22 or 23, definitely 23, you need to be saying, Hey, I'm looking to get married. I'm looking, I, I don't need no more time. I done all what I want to do or whatever. That's what smart women would do. Secure their husband early in life and, you know, make sure he's a good man. Of course, stick with your family. Don't just bail on your family for any little thing. Stick with your family. And then you won't be having these conversations out there. It, it, it's just that simple. But yes, it's, these men are, are different. Young or old. Remember, go back to what I said earlier, the Me Too movement. The Me Too movement affected Definitely older men, uh, middle-aged men. If any younger man say anything, they were losing their jobs. So other men say, I'm not going to be that guy. They don't want to be accused of anything because when y'all accuse men of things, it sticks on them like a fly on a fly trap paper. Okay. So that's why they don't want to say a whole lot to y'all. So women, you got to change that. It, it's just that simple.